Babe, I just remembered what my side topic was. So I'm going to tell you. It'll probably be pretty short. Although, I don't know. And I'm going to try to stop rubbing my nose. Yawning, I cannot help. In doing this, I cannot help because my glasses slide. It's so annoying. But that, that, I'm going to try not to. I... I'm sorry. It must be so nasty to watch. And scratching. Scratching, I can't help. Okay. Side topic is, was, you know, I mentioned violence. Look at my tea. I mentioned violence. And my sister fearing me. You know what just occurred to me? One of the reasons she might have feared me is I might have made threats, like I could kill you. I mean, she'd make me really mad. Maybe. I might have, you know, like half joking, half like warning. She'd make me so mad. I mean, this is the back in the day when we were the closest of close. When I was practically living with her in high school. And... Okay, anyway. It's a cup of tea. Maybe with double tea bags. Hopefully it'll wake me up. Side topic. Uh, in therapy. I just told my therapist, Danielle, like two sessions ago, that I had an ex-husband. She was like, what? And I was like, yeah, we hadn't gotten to that part of my life yet, so I didn't know how to fit that in, squeeze that in. And, um, so I had to give her the rundown of our relationship and um, the craziness of it. Uh, <sighs> And da, 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 the craziness of it. And how, oh, and I said how I had like always suffered from depression. Uh, going back to age 12 ish and manic -y behavior, hypomanic behavior um, definitely was appearing in college and after college. Um, but it was with Kevin that I, uh, developed behaviors and urges, um, and suicidal feelings, um, self-injurious behaviors mostly, and a lot of self, um, sorry, ideation, suicidal ideation, uh, like big time. And um, my self injurious behavior was violent, uh, and I was violent toward him. And she was like, "You're violent toward him." And I was like, um, "Yeah." And I was like, "But I was like, he's a really big football player, and he was never he would never fight back. He would just like." <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> He would just kind of uh, defend himself and or try to stop me, maybe by uh, grabbing my wrists or something. But he never initiated any attack. And when I attacked him, he didn't attack back. Um, so she's again, she was like, you were violent with him. And I was like, yeah. She's like, tell me more about that. And I was like, well, he would antagonize me until in, up to the point where I snapped and I would go hurling myself at him and hit him and that's what I would do and it's not good but I was antagonized so is that me blaming Kevin 
I mean, he's mind fucking me. He was abusive in a different way. I I don't know. I I don't know. Uh. Oh. Ready. Anyway, and then some other point, we were talking about Paul, and she asked if I was ever violent to toward Paul, and I was like, uh, a little bit, um, more like a pushing, a little bit slapping thing. In the heat of the moment. And that he even snapped and punched me in the arm really hard. That's a humongous bruise. But I do not... The oh, fuck? I do not consider him abuse, like an abuser at all. I don't even think of Kevin... Well, Kevin's an abuser mentally, but... Okay. So... I, I felt a little judged, and I'm like, are you, I didn't say this, but it's like, are you filing this away? Are you seeing me as an abusive person? Am I an abusive person? Um, um, these things took place when I was out of my mind, but is that just a rationalization? Like, um, would any guy that beats a woman, you know, that she deserved it, like, she was driving me crazy, or... Like, am I no better than a man that commits these acts? I don't know. I'd like to think not. Was she getting at that? Was she getting at that? Just the way she asked. Had sister. Oh my god, I'm gonna yell again. Sinister overtones. I should ask her about it. Do you think I commit domestic violence? I mean, come on. All the shit that exists out there. I'm not saying that it makes what I did good, but um, with Paul, uh, I was like out of my mind. Uh, kind of like my own way of not being there anymore. Um, and uh, and I could just have easily been slamming my head on the wall so I got a like egg size bruise or um, scratching myself up to so bleeding um, shit like that and probably the time that or times that I went for him he was enraging me but I was not not well not there. And it was Kevin, kind of the same thing. And it was Paul, I don't know, it would trigger it. <laughs> yes, I do. It's Paul being Paul. And me escalating. Unmedicated uh, person needing um, some validation, support, response. But he doesn't deserve to be hit. I know that. I didn't deserve to get punched in the arm. Uh, so, um, babe, just, I'm, uh, I'm going to ask her. The other thing that kind of annoys me is like my first session with her, I've always had this fear that I could be considered a borderline um, because I share quite a few traits. And um, she was like doing an intake with me. <gasps> and I was like, can I ask you a question? Um, do you think I, am, I have borderline personality disorder? And she's like, well, I don't like to think of people in terms of their diagnosis. Uh, I like to just get to know people and help them um, in whatever way I can. And 
but no, I don't think you're borderline. Um, I think your access, access, whatever mood disorders are, and um, and okay, and I was like, all right, okay, well, I'm glad you don't think I'm a borderline. And and then recently, recently, the other day, we were talking about Carol Ann and how I was like, yes, yeah, she used to be like really she was like lived in this commune with these like liberal catholics and she used to do all this stuff like run a soup kitchen and like all these noble works and then one day she just dropped it and uh she's been that way about many things except hockey she is stuck with as we know about her hockey gala celebrating her but you know she's like i mean you know we all like move around in our interests there's no harm in that but, like, she was so into the Catholic thing and helping and being, and I, it actually was all about, she was in love with Paul, the priest that ran it, and also this guy Joe that she dated. I think, I think the motives, I like, I think the, I think she liked living in a um, double townhouse with 15 people. And I think, you know, you know, if that's your thing, okay. And she liked the attention of uh, Paul the priest. Who was very charismatic and handsome and intellectual and fiery. And then she also had, she, they made out once. She was in love with him. He was inaccessible, just like she always had with men, inaccessible men. But they actually made out once. And then a few years later, he left the priesthood. And he married uh, this other woman. And my sister was so pissed off because the other woman, Marilyn, was um, fat, heavy set, Not like Gilbert Grape fat, but just big, large woman. Um... And my sister took it so, like, if she was going to marry a fat person, why didn't he marry me? Like, as if that was the only criteria a man would have in choosing a partner. Um, you know, maybe she was nice. Maybe she wasn't a manipulative, uh, loving person. And um, maybe she was your intellectual equal or not. Maybe you just felt good with her. Who the fuck knows? But all she could see was... She's fat and I'm fat, and he chose her. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. She's... The Fort Hall thing, that's the commune, lasted some years. Four, or five, six years. And um, she was really involved. Uh, they were so religious in a super left-wing way. Like, they were all about helping the poor and, um, like, they were deep in it. I mean, it was a cool or thing. But then she walked away from it one day, never looked back, and she's been like that about other things. So I'm telling my therapist this, and I was like, I was like, is she borderline? Like, what, like you know, don't they, like, get into something and then just drop it? And and she was like, I don't like to speculate on, on her diagnosis I don't know her uh, like she got really cold with me and I do want to talk about that kind of stuff I know she's not qualified to diagnose someone she doesn't know she's not even qualified to diagnose anyone she's not a doctor but yeah, maybe it's just too gossipy of me but she doesn't like the thing is she doesn't like the labels she doesn't like to think about the labels just the person but I think the labels help a lot, personally. I know that a person is more than a label, but hey, okay, I gotta go. 1420. See you later.